So the new book is the champion in all of us. It was inspired from, um, I guess, a career of 20 years competing as a sportsman, being inspired by other people, and then using uh, kind of the traits and looking at how other athletes uh, performed and building that into my own performance. And having retired, I wanted to just put together a, a book that rather than have an autobiographical context, I wanted to do something a little bit quirky and, and, and on offer a framework for the performance that I used, but in a way that is maybe um, a more interesting read. So, so the book's a novel, it, uh, it's fiction, but the context is very much around the framework of, of what I enjoyed to um, succeed and, uh, you know, and drive forward my performance throughout my career. So who are the characters in the book? So the book is, is, is based around four athletes who uh, I guess have a sort of a weakness uh, or, or, and strengths that are similar to all of us. Um, and they all sit within all of us. The four characters are called, called could've, should've, would've and did. And it's their uh, traits that I guess uh, are consistent within us all in that we have a passion or not. We have a self-belief in what we do and that's sometimes challenged and sometimes we don't quite have the confidence. And also around change, I think in the current economic climate, change is something that we're all having to deal with. Uh, and so the four characters are um, kind of, have something within one of those traits that is uh, either a weakness or a strength. And, and it's their journey of taking on the 12 rules for success, that is the kind of the subtitle of the book, that is introduced by coach and coaches Kind of the all-knowing. He's the, he's the guy that we all wish we'd ha had had and be able to listen to when we're sort of 16, 18 years of age, starting out in our careers. He's the guy who offers just those pearls of wisdom throughout the book, and it's the the challenge of the individuals to, to take on board what he's telling them, and it's that that really is the framework for their journey towards the success in their lives. Okay, so can you give us an insight into one or two of those rules? So yeah, there's t there's twelve rules as I say. Um, I think one of the one of the rules that comes out that uh, springs to mind is around taking responsibility. Um, and I've used an acronym for, for for that that I picked up somewhere along the way. In the word pride, uh, in that it is a personal responsibility in delivering excellence. The five letters is, is represented as an acronym, and that word pride. And I learned that I think quite early on in my career, in relinquishing responsibility as an athlete, or I've got a coach, I don't need to worry about that. I've got a physio, I don't need to worry about that. And I think I, I kind of started to fail before I realised um, that, that, you know, that lovely saying, if it's going to be, it's up to me. And I think that responsibility and taking that responsibility is our first step actually in, in that process of, of, of taking ownership of our own performance and then being able to be part of a team because we understand what we can really do to make change. Okay, so who do you think will enjoy this book? I think there's two, there's two sets of people actually. One is coaches, teachers, people who help others. I think there's a, there's a context in how coach operates that will be hopefully um, offer a framework for people to be able to coach more effectively. And secondly, to the individuals who are aspiring to a great performance because, of course, as the 12 rules, you could easily um, translate and look for parallels in the four characters as to challenges that you currently face. So I think they're the two camps, coaches and uh, someone on a, on a personal effectiveness journey. Okay, so you retired from athletics um, some time ago now. So what have you been up to since then? <laughs> some time ago, yeah, diplomatically put, <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I retired. It was actually yes, eight years ago now, and upon retiring, you know, had a, it was very much turn the new chapter, had a blank page. Didn't know what I was going to do next. Um, what I was interested in was performance. I've always been fascinated by what is the difference between the people who are successful and the ones who kind of just are able to go that one step further and make a success. And I think. Um, what, what I noticed in, in my world, but it was it was never the ones who were more talented who would be the more successful. It would be the ones who never give up, which happens to be one of the traits, one of the rules, never, mm -hmm. ever, ever give up. Um, it happens to be the ones who give their dream a higher purpose, 
is another one of them. <laughs> and and it was and that's why that was the inspiration in the book was noticing what is that difference between the people who maybe are just as talented as the next guy but keep going and they they achieve success by just having a different set of behaviors